Oh, baloney. The whole thing always gets back to drugs. Hello, my name is Sandra Grasse, and I'm a licensed acupuncturist. A busy, busy licensed acupuncturist because it's Acupuncture Awareness Week here in Ireland. So for the fifth year running, the Acupuncture Foundation Professional Association is running the Acupuncture Awareness Week. And this year, the theme is Acupuncture for the Treatment of Digestive Disorders. Um, commonly seen in the clinic, we all know about it, and particularly for the, the side of things that Siobhan and I would deal the most, which would be acupuncture for, again, gynecology, endocrinology, you know, fertility side of things, the um, inflammation is a big, big issue. So it is something that we deal with in the clinics, and we're delighted to, uh, to support the AFPA uh, during the week to just bring more awareness to, to patients, because again, Information is power, so the more the patients know, or prospective patients know about how acupuncture can help them, um, and the same goes to GPs and other clinicians that once they discover, um, you know, things like research has been done before and everything, then they can refer their patients to to get help with with acupuncture as well. So what we want to do today is just give you some guidelines, you know, just a little bit of advice that you can then explore in your own time. And as always, any questions, just send them over or just get in touch and we'll be glad to uh, to help you. Uh, if you want more information about the Acupuncture Awareness Week, go on the uh, AFBA's website. So it's the Acupuncture Foundation Professional Association and their website is afpa.ie and all the details for the, uh, for the events coming up during the week. Um, there's a great um, summary sheet there as well in terms of research done before and everything and so just have a look and you know as always we always say if you want to get a help from acupuncture make sure that you get in touch with a registered qualified insured acupuncturist and check the website afpa.ie and check their website because they have a practitioner's listing so you can find a practitioner in your area who is registered to uh, to practice so a proper licensed acupuncturist so just very, very quickly, I want to say a big, big, massive thank you. Um, well, Siobhan and I were over in London last weekend and we spent a great, great time with Jani White and Catherine Anderson um, talking about food intake. We uh, we tried a few restaurants, so uh, it was great to spend time with you. And good luck, Jani. Um, for those who know the channel, there is already one part of Jani's interview and uh, I'll make it available here that you can click and, and, and watch it. But there is more to come and we just really, really thank you for everything and, and all the help you gave us throughout the years and we wish you all the best for your uh, future adventures. Um, we let you tell everyone what, uh, what is happening next, so um, good luck to you. And Catherine, where do I even start? You know, just thank you so, so much and uh, thank you for the advice as well. And it was great to meet up and um, we'll see you both in less than a month at the Integrative Fertility Symposium in Vancouver. And actually speaking about that, just a little aside now here, not the, um, for, 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 for members of, for here in Ireland, for members of the, the AFPA actually, they get, um, get a discounted price on the, uh, the subscription on the uh, Journal of Chinese Medicine. I am pretty sure this is like one of those unboxing videos on YouTube, isn't it? Um, so sorry about the, the noise if, if this is a bit noisy, but I am pretty sure that um, this is, um, there is something here on, on this one that we talked about before. Oh, there's Claudia Sitkovitz. Um, hi, Claudia. Um, but I think that there is a review um, of a book that we talked about here um, on the channel previously and that, oh there it is, yeah, yeah, there you go. That is Lauren Brown's book, uh, Missing the Point, Why Acupuncturists Fail and What They Need to Know to Succeed. Just go over, I'll, I'll leave a link here um, for you to go and watch. I think it was actually the first or second um, video we did and we talked about about his book. So uh, yeah, there it is, yeah, um, the, the book review. Um, previous edition, if you, um, again, I'll leave the link up here, I did a book review for uh, Yvonne Farrell, and Yvonne is actually coming to Ireland, so everyone watching this who's a practitioner, um, if you want to check out, you know, live, a great lecture, with day and a half lecture with Yvonne Farrell, um, and if you want a taste of, of her knowledge and her expertise, go and check out that um, that video that, that, that we did with the interview, and that was that was amazing. So, um, yeah, well done, Lorne. Um, 
great uh, great book review and um, I'm looking forward to it. thanks Danny I'm looking forward to reading the uh, the whole thing so anyway back to sorry that was just an aside um back to digestive disorders and studies that have been out the um like we all we all know about the incidence of uh, of uh, um irritable bowel syndrome um you know things like Crohn's disease as well it's quite common to see patients with that so there's there's plenty of studies look I'm not going to go and read again from the studies because I'll leave the links and you can go and check it out um just quickly two that I'll mention is acupuncture for irritable bowel syndrome uh, this is from 2008 and actually professor Hugh McPherson was involved in this but um Julie Reynolds was the uh, the main researcher um and they found um, they found good results on uh, on that one and the one that I've been reading actually over the last week um, again Professor Ian McPherson being the main researcher on this one acupuncture for irritable bowel syndrome a two-year follow-up of a randomized controlled trial and the uh, the six nine and twelve months actually showed um, great statistically significant results um, so pretty good uh, pretty good stuff out there um, so just I'll leave the links and you can check them out um, on the practical advice I have mentioned this before in the channel but it's never it, it's never enough great book it links with the digestive disorders and improving your metabolism and all that and with what we said that the channel was going to be more about which is fertility and fertility enhancement I mentioned this book before but it is absolutely amazing and that is Laura's and um, Emily's book, uh, Feed Your Fertility. So if you remember, um, I'll leave the link up here. Uh, we talked about the famous California burgers, um, which were just an example of how you can actually have proper, normal, good, nutritious foods and just work around it in a way that will actually help you. And again, there's no such thing as a good or a bad food. It depends on you. I'm not being generic, but it depends on you, depends on your condition. So this, I know patients from the clinic who bought the book already and I couldn't recommend this book any, any, anymore. Like it, it's it's super, super fantastic and DM, really easy to read. Um, and yes, thank you. Thank you for our personalized copy. I, this one is, this one stays here, doesn't go anywhere else. And the, um, so plenty of advice there. The other one that I would say, again, because I've been reading a little bit more about it over the last while to do with PCOS. And again, thank you, Catherine, for all the advice. Really, really appreciate that. Um, and the, that, that, that's Fiona's, um, Fiona's book. We talked about this before as well. The eight steps to reverse your PCOS. Um, it, it, it's again, thanks for the uh, thanks for the personalized copy thanks for the nice words Fiona thank you very much you're the one you're the one who should be really really proud about the uh, about this book so I just leave uh, I'll, I'll leave a little bit of uh, of advice here for example the uh, um because I, I made a note just to say it to you guys on how good the book is and again Siobhan mentioned to me that someone from the uh, from her clinic actually got the book and read it and was absolutely amazed with the amount of information here but Fiona does have one of the chapters, um, recommended diets and recipes for women with PCOS. Um, again, it's a tricky condition. Um, be careful with inflammatory stuff that you might be doing. But just examples of how simple um, things can be. Uh, breakfast, I'm looking at blueberry avocado super smoothie. Um, I'm looking at omelette with mushrooms and spinach. You know, it's so. It's when you read it and when you when you find out about it, it sounds so simple, doesn't it? But the uh, um, granola chocolate nut bars. Mmm. Now we're talking. But you see, again, the, the trick is then on on following the uh, following the advice and actually realizing that okay, so I need to get it a little bit more quality, making sure that even if I'm okay, I'm spending a little bit more money, but getting something that is organic, good quality ingredients to put together and, and ideas and ideas like those. I'm seeing that she's using almonds, sunflower seeds, um, coconut flakes. It, it, look, it's it, it's great advice the, uh, for anyone struggling with uh, with PCOS at the moment. I really really recommend that you get your hands on uh, on Fiona's book, Eight Steps to Reverse Your PCOS. Um, power again, knowledge is power. It's all in your hands. Good advice. Keep on doing things and 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 DM, um, you know, never give up. Um, someone said to me in the clinic, and if you're watching this, you know who you are, that I should be a motivational speaker. Um, I wish it worked for me, but apparently it works for everyone else. But uh, I can sometimes get a little bit down with, you know, work and, you know, it, it's, it's tough enough in the clinics at times. But the... Um, 
but hey, I, I, if it motivates you as a patient, keep going. Never ever give up. Ask questions, and same thing with ourselves. Um, make the most of, of the uh, Acupuncture Awareness Week and the amount of practitioners that will be available to answer your questions. And as always, subscribe. And actually, I, I checked it out. Over 3,500 views and over 70 subscribers. You guys are just amazing. So thank you very much for your support. We will continue to do as much as we can to make everyone proud. Um, at one of the dinners in London, we had a chance of um, you know talking about and, and sharing memories of uh, a good friend, Ray Rubio. So we will continue to uh, work hard to uh, make him proud. And we will never, ever forget him. And thanks to everyone that helped over with the uh, you know since the previous uh, two videos and to the members of the family that have been in touch and thanking us for for doing it we are the ones who need to thank ray for all the years and the, the dedication and all the smiles um that he was able to bring about to all of us so johnny best of luck success you know you can do it catherine will see you soon and thanks very much we had a great time and we'll see you again in less than a month in, in vancouver we are really really looking forward to it and to everyone else be kind and be healthy oh baloney the whole thing always gets back to drugs